And he said, he said, man, I'm trying to get some of your old CDs. I said, okay, I got them. He said, in the garage, in the garage. you want to buy something? I want to buy them for $20 a piece. Even in 1997, $20 a piece, well, see, that's a lot of money. And I was kind of broke. So I said, send them. Send me that money. I sent you the CDs. Send him the money. He sent me the money. I sent him the CDs. Call me back a week later. Got some more of those CDs? Yeah, I got plenty of CDs. I sent them in the garage. I'm broke. I need the money. 20, he sent me $400. I sent him 20 more CDs. Another week later. He said, man, I need some more of them CDs. I said, I got some more of them CDs. <laughs> but he said, this time he said, man, he said, I said, dude, I've been calling you for the last three weeks and asking you to buy these CDs just kind of out of the blue, and you've never asked me what I'm doing with your CDs. I said, well, I can't think of nothing in my brain that would be illegal that you could be doing with these CDs, so what do I care? He said, man, are you buy a computer? I said, y'all buy a computer? He said, okay, go to eBay. Anybody heard of eBay? Anybody ever sold anything on eBay? No! He was selling my CDs on eBay. Here's the kick, though. He was buying 20 CDs off of me for $400, $20 a piece, which I thought was a lot of money. Because even when I was distributing CDs, it was like you get like, at the most, $7. He was giving me 20. He said, man, go to Player 1000. So I put Player 1000 in. I was like, flabbergasted. They were auctioning my CDs off. And people overseas, Canada, Japan, Australia, Germany, Russia. Y'all think I'm playing, you can't make this stuff up. They were paying upwards of $500 for one of my CDs. That's not the kicker though. Whoever won the bidding price, $500. Somebody lost that bid $499. Somebody lost that bid $498. And down, 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 all the way. All he had to do was hit second chance offers and he could sell it to $500 one. 499 one, 498 one, 497. This guy was making about $10,000 off of 20 CDs that he was buying from me every time. I'm like, whoa. Why in the world would anybody be buying my CD for $500, $499? But guys, here's the thing in life, you never know what type of energy you're gonna give off when you do something. And the key word that says, sentence was do. You have to do. And we're depending on you guys because you're part of FCCLA. So we're counting on you to do more than everybody else. 